So many of us wish our pets could live as long as we do, and while science hasn't quite gotten that far, there is an alternative to get the carbon copy of the pet you love so much. A valley man, one of the latest in the country to get his beloved dog cloned. ABC 15, Sonu Wasu introducing us to the identical twins born years apart and takes us inside the lab that's making it all happen. Every dog has its day, but Sally here. They are identical twins, 12 years apart. <laughs> Thanks to technology, has another one. Meet Sally 2.0, her clone, Patty. We thought, wow, if we were ever going to clone a dog, it would be Sally. The Stahl family cloned Sally simply because they considered her to be the perfect dog. In fact, that's the number one reason hundreds of people from all over the world have turned to Viagen. It all starts with a skin biopsy. Milene Rodriguez from Viagen tells us the science is similar to in vitro fertilization, except instead of DNA from both a mother and father, 100% of the DNA here is from your pet. From that biopsy sample, we culture millions of cells. These cells can be frozen indefinitely. So they don't have to clone right away. They can clone 5, 10, 20 years from now. The Stulls got Sally's biopsies done here at Pima North Animal Hospital. Veterinarians here helping clone a client's dog for the first time. Dr. Bonnie Walker says it's been a learning experience. I mean, we all have pets that we have loved. How nice it would be to have that same pet again. Of course, they're not going to be exact, but they're going to be pretty darn close. The tissue samples are shipped off to the Viagen Labs in Texas, where Patty was born with help from a surrogate. Doesn't have to be the same breed. They have bonded, they sleep together, they uh, wrestle. Betty will pull Sally's ears and they establish their territory. Staff at Viagen tell us they understand cloning is not for everyone. So there are people who are opposed to cloning and we can understand that. But it is an option for those who have the money. You know, it's $50,000 to clone a dog and $35,000 to clone a cat. Benji the Bengal cat is a clone that belongs to Mullane. She says technology has come a long way since Dolly the sheep was first cloned in 1996. Clones today live longer and are healthier. And with more demand for cloned horses, dogs, and cats. The most popular breed that we've cloned is really a tie between German Shepherd and Chihuahuas. She expects the price will go down in the future. <laughs> Viagen officials tell us a less expensive option is preserving your pet's tissue samples now and deciding whether or not to clone in the future when prices could go down. Sonu Wasu, ABC 15, Arizona. The U.S. Humane Society weighing in on all of this, saying they are against cloning of animals. They call it destructive, needless, and frivolous.